In the world of competitive swimming, few men have won as much and commanded as much respect as did Ian Crocker. Whether it was in swimming the butterfly in the Olympics or dominating the events at the NCAAs, Crocker's records speak for themselves. He won five Olympic medals, eight world championship medals, and 10 NCAA individual titles. He earned all American honors 24 times and was part of the Big 12 individual or relay champions. As a senior in 2004, Ian won his fourth straight NCAA title in the butterfly, joining U.S. swimming legends Mark Spitz and Pablo Morales as the only swimmers to achieve four straight NCAA butterfly wins. When he made the U.S. Olympic team in 2008, he became just the fifth Longhorn swimmer to represent Team USA three times. He now is a swimming coach at a private club here in Austin and will be inducted into the International Swimming Hall of Fame later this year. But tonight, he joins a host of Longhorn legends as he is inducted into the Longhorn Hall of Honor. Ladies and gentlemen, Ian Crocker. Ian, congratulations. Let's start the conversation with your support group. When you think about the people that help make this possible, who are those folks that come to mind? Uh, well, I, I think, uh, you know, Eddie Reese and Chris Kubik, for, for one, I mean, they, they both uh, gave me the opportunity to come down here from uh, Portland, Maine, of all places. Um, my parents allowed that to happen as well, uh, and I couldn't be more grateful to, to all of those uh, people, um, my parents and Eddie and Chris, for giving me the shot to come down here to Austin, Texas and represent the University of Texas. You think about the guys that you swam with, what made those great teams so meaningful to you when you consider the bond that you had, not just in the pool, but outside of it as well? Well, getting to... Getting in the pool and training with guys day after day, uh, you really find out what each other is made of. Um, it's physically, mentally, and emotionally challenging just uh, go, going through training every day. And so you really see the core of the people that are next to you. And so you, you form bonds that um, don't really come in other ways in life. Um, and the guys, like the guys that are here tonight, um, they helped me in and out of the pool. Uh, they they helped me when I had personal strife. They, you know, they were there for me, um, just as the brothers that I never had. And um, so I, I think they're just as responsible as anybody else for, for the success. There were times where I didn't know if I wanted to continue competing, but um, they gave me the reason to go to the pool and um, keep my head up and keep training hard. As you mentioned, a kid from Portland, Maine, coming all the way down to the University of Texas, swimming for a dominant program. Now that you've had some time removed from your swimming career here in Austin, what have you learned about this lineage of tradition with the program, what it was before you, and what it is now? I, th I think as you get a little bit older, you have more respect for the people that came before you. Um, and so I understand the history of Texas swimming a little bit more from its humble beginnings um, and to the point where uh, Eddie Reese uh, and Chris Kubik came and changed it, turned it into what it is today and got the, the strong tradition of excellence uh, and turned it into a place where every young swimmer across the country and even across the world would love to come and represent the University of Texas um, and fight for the burn orange. I mentioned that fierce rivalry that you had with Michael Phelps. How did that drive you and your preparation and the time that you spent here at Austin trying to become the best you could possibly be? Well, the, the summer after my sophomore year uh, was the first time that I raced Michael. And um, I was the American record holder from two years before. And when I finished that race, Michael was the American record holder. And, um, and so that was, that was an eye-opening moment for me. It was a very challenging moment for me. Um, there was a big part of me that just kind of felt that I'd achieved, achieved everything that I was going to achieve in the sport, and maybe it was time for me to stop. Um, but my friends, coaches, um, teammates, family helped me um, 
kind of refocus from that point on. And uh, I, Eddie convinced me to start moving over into the distance lanes a few days a week. And that was one of the hardest things I'd ever done in training, uh, but I really noticed a difference in my uh, aerobic capacity over the next season. And uh, almost exactly a year after Phelps broke my American record, I ended up breaking his world record. So it, thanks to Eddie and... <clears throat> thanks to Eddie and my teammates and Michael, that was possible. An amazing story, an amazing career. Let's hear it for our first inductee, Ian Crocker. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks again.